Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here, and today I am going to be going over my favorite fast food chains. I'm going to be ranking them from worst to first, and going over what I like about these fast food chains, and what I don't like about these fast food chains, and why they are ranked the way they are. Now, these are just my opinions, and I'm only going to be ranking places that I have been to, so fans of fast food chains such as In-N-Out Burger, um, that will not be on the list, so I apologize. But I hope y'all enjoy, and let's get started with number 20. So right here at number 20, in last place, we have KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now I know it might be weird, given that I am a country boy. I like fried chicken. I like the sides that KFC offers. But to be honest, KFC's never really impressed me my whole life. Um, to me, most KFCs, at least around my area, seem to tend to be kind of dirty, kind of grimy. The The chicken is all right. Their sides, I mean, I feel like when I eat the mashed potatoes, I taste the melted plastic inside. Uh, the coleslaw is okay. Uh, the rolls are pretty good, but when it comes to service and just bang for your buck and anything like that, just KFC's never been that impressive for me. I will say, though, if you are, um, in North Metro Georgia, do check out the big chicken KFC though. It's like a landmark around here. But yeah, number 20 KFC. To be honest, don't really like it. So at number 19, we have Burger King. Very iconic, a big fast food chain known for their burgers. But it's not the Burger King that, you know, my parents grew up with. I think Burger King has definitely lost its touch. Uh... I feel like they've definitely been outdone by fast food chains such as McDonald's and Wendy's. Um, they're just, they're okay. When I look at fast food places when I'm driving by or on a road trip, Burger King's just one of those options that if it's the only place in town, I'll go. But their burgers these days are subpar, their fries are subpar, just everything about them is subpar. And I don't know, they need something new besides their chicken fries to uh, lure me in. They're just okay. Their service, at least around these parts, not that great. Uh, not that impressive. And, you know, I could much rather go to McDonald's or Wendy's. So that's why number 19 is Burger King. So at number 18, we have Church's Chicken. Not a super duper popular fast food chain. But I have eaten there a couple times, so it will make it on the list. It's all right. Uh, they do have really good wings and chicken tenders. Um, their food is solid. Not bad at all, but their service when I went there the couple times, kind of shitty. Um, and it's, it's just a tad pricey. I don't know. I need to go there more for it to be ranked higher. Uh, not bad. Not trying to diss it, but just because I'm not as familiar and the service was pretty bad, it is at number 18. So at number 17, we have Starbucks. Probably the most popular coffee chain out there. Um, and, you know, their drinks are alright, but it is just so damn overpriced for what you're getting. I mean, if I want a large, I want it to actually be large and not cost like five, six bucks. And their service is usually really good, but... I just, I always feel dumb when they talk down to me trying to explain their terms. And for just an average guy from the backwoods, it's just kind of, kind of feel like a child when they talk to me. I kind of feel dumb. So for that reason, just the fact that it's just so overpriced, that's why it's so behind on my rank. But I mean, pretty good quality drinks. Uh, I don't mind going there when I have a gift card, but it is at number 17. So at number 16, we have Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. So this is more how like you should do coffee. Um, don't severely overprice your products like Starbucks. And include donuts. Like who doesn't like donuts? Dunkin' Donuts offers a wide variety of donuts. Not so much on the coffee beverages like Starbucks does. But their coffee beverages are solid and their donuts are pretty darn good. Um, their service tends to be all right, and as I said, their price isn't, you know, outstanding like Starbucks is. Um, 
My only complaint with Dunkin' Donuts is their normal breakfast food, like their croissant sandwiches and stuff. Kind of suck, uh, but as I said, service, pretty good. Um, wide variety of donuts to go with your coffee. Fabulous. It's just that usually I don't eat that sort of food all the time. It's not usually my thing. All right, y'all. So at number 15, we have Crystals, known for their small little slider burgers. Um, it's at number 15 because... Although I like their slider burgers, like, on a late night, you know, midnight, something like that, and it's easy to pound, like, ten of them, um, everything else is pretty subpar. Uh, they don't have much in the way of dessert. Uh, their fries are probably some of the most mediocre fries in the fast food industry, in my opinion. Um, besides their sliders, uh, they don't got much going for them, and usually the places... Uh, kind of grimy the service is pretty subpar um haven't had amazing service most of the time going there so that's why it's at 15 uh great little sliders but other than that there's not much all right so at number 14 we have hardy's now this would be a lot higher in my rank if not for two reasons one hardy's service is ass I don't like waiting in the drive through for 20-30 minutes or waiting in line forever just for my food. Uh, secondly, um, it seems like they've really downsized their food portions and for the price that it is, it's just it's beginning to be not worth it to get Hardee's. Uh, but I really like their food. I like their breakfast even more. I think they have great biscuits, um, pretty good burgers as well. Uh, pretty decent fries all around pretty solid in the food department the only problem is um, I've noticed I'm pretty sure they've downsized their food and the service is just god-awful at least around here so if it weren't for that Hardee's would be further up maybe top 10 but for that reason it's at number 14 so at number 13 we have Bojangles or as me and my friends like to say Bohangles um, wonderful breakfast uh, I absolutely love their um, Cajun chicken biscuits. Um, I think their hash browns are great. Wonderful sweet teas. One of the better sweet teas in the fast food industry, in my opinion. Um, the only problem is, I mean, that's about all we get it for is uh, breakfast. Because, I mean, their sides and stuff, um, it's kind of like KFC going for that more uh, home-cooked, uh, sort of humble homage sort of feeling but I don't know it's like brown rice and that sort of thing which is all right I like that sort of stuff but I liked it home cooked when I'm thinking of fast food I'm not thinking of getting beans or brown rice necessarily um wonderful biscuits uh amazing sweet tea but I don't know other than that just there's not much of a uh nostalgic feel for me uh I definitely prefer other places over Bojangles and for that reason, that's why it's number 13 and not top 10. So rolling in at number 12 is Culver's. Culver's is a fast food chain that's very similar to Steak and Shake in the fact that they have steak burgers. Um, the only difference is really that has more fast food vibes and they have frozen custard instead of shakes. But it's really a place that has burst through the seams around here in my area. They've been popping up all over town. I think there's like three new ones just in my area alone. Uh, crazy. They're really popular. Lines been stretching, you know, out the door ever since they came in around here. Uh, and for good reason, too. Uh, they have really good filling, um, greasy fast food. Uh, what more could you ask for? And uh, their frozen custard is pretty darn good, too. They do frozen custard pretty well. A lot of places like to differentiate themselves, saying they have frozen custard, but a lot of times I prefer ice cream over it. But their frozen custard, uh, uh, top tier, really good, uh, along with their pretty good steak burgers. Um, steak and Shake is not on this list because I consider it more of a sit-down chain. Um, do I think it tops Steak and Shake? No, uh, but it is pretty good. And for being a new place, it's definitely made it up there, almost top 10. So, good job, Culver's. So, at number 11, we have Popeyes. Um, now, I've only been to Popeyes a couple times, but both times they have been smack. Um, you're talking about 
probably one of the best chicken sandwiches on the market. Uh, you know, the fast food chain that pretty much started the chicken sandwich wars. Uh, wonderful chicken, pretty good fries. Uh, the service was subpar, but I mean, their food just has a legendary status. It's pretty damn good. Um, and now that there's a couple popping up closer next to me, you bet I'll be going there more. Um, only because I'm not as familiar is the reason why it's not top 10. If I ate there more, uh, I probably would uh, love it even more. So at number 11, there's Popeyes. So to kick off the top 10, we have Checkers or Rallies, depending on where you are. Um, so Checkers is one of those places that um, I just love the food. I love their burgers, and I think they have some of the best fries out there. Unlike most places where it's just strictly salt on their fries, I'm pretty sure they have like a salt and pepper blend, something like that. There's something about their fries that's just very different, very tasty. Um, mix that with uh, their dessert, like their funnel cake or their ice cream or their shakes, and a good big burger. Man, Checkers is just, fast foodies know the deal, as they say. And Checkers would be a lot higher for me if, their service was better um, service is a big part of fast food and checkers at least around here is notorious for being pretty slow and messing up orders uh, but you know their wonderful food makes up for it so they made it to the top 10 at number 10 so at number nine we have subway the only sub place that is big enough to technically be a fast food chain um, and I like Subway. It is one of those places that, although it is definitely not fresh like they say, uh, you can clearly see in a lot of Subways, their food is not fresh. Um, but their subs are pretty good. Uh, I tend to like them. You know, I have it my way, fresh at Subway. Um, and if you have it your way, it tends to work out pretty well, especially since you're eyeballing the people working on your subs. Uh, their service tends to be pretty good. Uh, probably for that reason you are watching them the whole time uh, so besides that the food isn't really fresh it is pretty darn good and it has a heavy nostalgic feel for me uh, every day almost when we'd visit my grandparents in Orlando uh, my grandmother would take us to Publix then Subway to get a sub and for that reason it just has a high nostalgic factor and definitely probably the reason why it is at number nine and not like number 12 or 13 so subway pretty good i mean they have good subs and when you have it your way it makes everything a little bit better so at number eight we have dairy queen the wife of burger king as some may say uh, as you saw burger king did not do very well on this list but dairy queen does uh, a lot of it is for a reason that Dairy Queen sort of holds a special part in my heart. Uh, it's one of those things, uh, one of those places that uh, my dad took us once when we were little, and it's just one of those memories I have. It's very fond. Um, and another time, my mom's best friend came down from Chicago, and we got Dairy Queen. Uh, and then... It's where uh, one of the first dates that me and my girlfriend had was uh, sitting at a bench next to the dumpster at Dairy Queen, <laughs> uh, eating their food. And it's just one of those things, a lot of sort of fond memories with Dairy Queen. As for their food itself, uh, it's okay. Their service is all right. Uh, they do have good desserts, obviously. That's what they're known for, known for their... Um, their wonderful desserts, uh, their blizzards, and their sundaes, and just really wonderful desserts. The food itself is kind of subpar, and their service is all right, but it's really the fun memories for me that really push Dairy Queen to that number eight spot. Same with Subway. Uh, Y'all may see a trend uh, later in this video, but yeah, number eight's Dairy Queen. So at number seven, we have Arby's, who have the meats. Now, if you would have asked me uh, five years ago where Arby's was on my list, I'd probably definitely say top three, but as I've grown older, I have tend to uh, lean away from Arby's just a little bit. I do uh, love their wide variety of meaty sandwiches. Um, I like that they have like every variety of meat, from fish to 
pork to beef uh, it's awesome and I love their different variety of sauces too I like their horsey sauce their Zaxby sauce their um, I think it's like several pepper sauce I don't know how many peppers are in it but I love their variety of sauces to go with the curly fries I love their variety of sandwiches I wish they had more variety of dessert because I think they do uh, dessert well I like their uh, like their Jamaican uh, shake I forgot what it's called um, but they just have really solid food really uh, filling wholesome food and a wide variety of just options to go with um, and I like that they don't stray away from their uh, meaty side and their service is usually decent and their prices are okay but man it's just one of those places that you can still find a big old sandwich or burger to go with your food and I think that's awesome and it's just great wide variety uh, definitely top 10 for me so at number six right outside the top five spot is Taco Bell same thing with Arby's if you have asked me about five years ago where it stands on my ranking I probably would have said a lot worse to be honest with Taco Bell but as of late the past few years I've really enjoyed it wonderful late night snacking food a good variety of food from their tacos burritos chalupas nachos um, and just any funky new name they come up for their new product and it's the home of the Baja Blast that's like their signature drink um, they're you know their service isn't the best at times they mess up big orders it seems but they're great food and decent decent prices really uh, help them out um, and who knows in a few more years they may be top five but as of now they're sitting right outside at number six so starting the top five is chick-fil-a a very very popular fast food chain in my area probably the most popular in my town uh, chick-fil-a is known for begging you to eat more chicken and to stay away from beef and for good reason their chicken sandwiches are the bomb in my opinion they're simple they're sweet with the peanut oil and they are great uh, their waffle fries, they're okay. They've uh, grown on me a little bit more as I've gotten older, but um, other than that, I mean, they still have great dessert from their frozen lemonade and a wide variety of sauces I like, like Polynesian to their uh, their version of honey mustard and ranch is pretty good too. Uh, and I mean, their service is just off the chart. Probably the best place for service um out of all the fast food places and the special thing about chick-fil-a that really puts them top five for me is just the fact that despite your political beliefs it's one of the few companies that sticks by uh their morals uh their views their beliefs and doesn't let the media or mob sway them uh no matter how much backlash they get they just uh they keep on staying closed on Sundays and believing in what they believe and they don't back down from that and uh, I don't care who you are if you're a big company who does not back down to the media does not back down to what people say and stick to your guns you earn big creds in my book and that's what Chick-fil-A has done and combined with their wonderful wonderful food from breakfast to lunch uh, it is top five uh, It'd probably be a lot higher if it wasn't a little bit pricey for the portions you get, and that's one of the reasons why it gets knocked, and it just doesn't have a big nostalgic factor like uh, some of the next few ones. Uh, but sitting pretty at number five is Chick-fil-A. Way to go. All right, so riding in at the number four spot is McDonald's. Those golden arches. Now, it's pretty obvious that in most people's fast food places, unless they think McDonald's is disgusting, it would probably definitely be top 10, maybe top 5. Uh, same for me. McDonald's is super nostalgic for so many reasons. Going over there and getting the Happy Meals and getting the toys and opening those up from just all the times on road trips or anything, just stopping by at McDonald's. Um, uh, they're notorious for having either really good service or really bad service. It's pretty hit or miss in my area, but that doesn't matter because you get a good bit of food for a pretty reasonable price. Their prices have gone up as of late, um, but still, there's something about getting like a 
10 piece nugget, Big Mac, Quarter Pounder, uh, McFlurry, you know, they have great sweet tea. Uh, something about drinking Sprite from McDonald's cup that's just so much better to me. They just have the wonderful classic, uh, horrible for you, but good tasting fast food. And that's just kudos to them. They're, they're the big dogs for a reason, and they deserve to be top five on my list. So next we'll go into top three. McDonald's sitting right there at top four. So at the number three spot, we have Zaxby's. Now, this is a pretty big chain down here in the south, southeast. Uh, not so much up north, but man, oh man, do I love me some Zaxby's. Just like a uh, fast food chain like Chick-fil-A, they focus on chicken. There is no beef or fish at Zaxby's. Um, yeah, this one's big for me. Heavy nostalgia, uh, great taste. Uh, growing up, um, as a kid, we get Zaxby's almost like every Sunday, it seemed. Had it like once a week. Uh, they have great food, great chicken, um, they have sandwiches, chicken finger plates, they have wings, uh, salads, uh, just, I don't think I've had something there that I didn't like, um, and they have some unique sides and appetizers like the fried mushrooms, fried pickles, um, the only thing this place lacks really is, uh, good dessert options, uh, they don't really have, uh, they have cookies, but they got rid of their shakes, so they don't have that anymore. Um, but the service uh, overall is pretty good most of the time, uh, and their food is just great. I uh, really love the place. Heavy nostalgia. Um, there's a little wrong that I can say about Zaxby's, and that is why it is number three. So at the number two spot, the runner-up right behind number one is one of the big dogs in the fast food industry in Wendy's. Now, I've really liked Wendy's ever since I was a little kid. Love their food. Uh, it is one of the only fast food places that, to me, actually tastes pretty fresh. Like, when I eat their burgers, like, the tomato, the lettuce, it looks fresh, it tastes fresh, unlike other places. Uh, I think they have pretty great fries. You know, you can tell it, it's those actual natural cut fries with the potato skin still on there most of the time. Um, they have the Frosties. I mean, who doesn't like Frosties and dip in their fries and Frosties? And they have the secret menu items like the Frosty Float, where they'll make your Frosty into like a root beer float, which is always awesome. Um, their service is usually pretty good. Uh, their prices, you know, they're fairly reasonable, a little bit on the more expensive side, but man, there's just something about getting a Wendy's burger and their chili and their nuggets, just just feasting out on some Wendy's and then adding a Frosty on there. There's something about that that's just great to me. Um, little flaws with Wendy's. I mean, they've been consistent. They've been great, delicious ever since I can remember, and... I mean, for that reason, just that great consistency and taste and freshness that there is, it just, it gets it to that number second spot, number two spot, and especially since they added breakfast not too while ago, um, it really propelled them up here, but it's not number one. We'll get to that right now. All right, so at number one, we have Sonic. I love Sonic, especially over the last few years. It has just been so awesome that it is now at number one. It would not have been at number one, you know, five years ago. Um, great food, great, just classic fast food from their burgers to their conies. Like, they got hot dogs, man, and they do it well. They got big hot dogs, big burgers for the most part. They got, you know, chicken tenders, wings. They got corn dogs. Like on Halloween, they do they do their 50-cent corn dog special. They got a happy hour between 2 to 5, which is great because of their wide, wide variety of desserts and drinks from their slushes to their um, shakes to their blasts to their just everything. And you can add flavors. You can add candy to your stuff. It's awesome. I always get the ocean water to drink. I think it's 
probably the best drink they got. If y'all don't know what ocean water is, it's basically like blue, blue raspberry coconut Sprite. Pretty awesome. Get it if you haven't got it at Sonic before. But great food, uh, great desserts, great drinks, and it's one of the places that you can actually drive in, order while you park, and just eat there in the drive-through and not have to worry about anything. Uh, it's just great. Uh, the only thing that I wish was different about Sonic is one bring back the actors on your commercials they were great they were funny I don't care for the average people commercials and two I just wish their locations were a little bit better especially you know I like parking at the parking spots after I order and eating there but I don't like staring at like a, a Publix or an abandoned shopping center so if their locations were a little bit better, or maybe put some like better scenery around their restaurants, it'd be great. But other than that, I mean, it's just great food. You know, especially during happy hour, you can get it all at a decent price. It is just awesome. And for everyone that still uses the roller skates while uh, greeting you in the parking lot, man, I always tip them a lot more. Uh, just great place, great vibes, especially on a road trip or late at night. So kudos to you, Sonic. You are number one, the best fast food chain out there.